Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Leaky Timeline. I've got a nice little mini base going. I rocket shipped over some food. Yeah, I'm doing the super basic on the suit docks. I just took out some tiles so they can't climb this way and that locks them in. I had a bit of a carbon dioxide explosion. One of these pockets had carbon dioxide in it, but that's mostly getting cleaned up. Carbon skimmer deals with this side. Boom. I figured that part's kind of boring, you know. Rockets are full oxygen, base is full oxygen. I tamed this, but it's not going to become active for another 12 cycles. But now what I need is steam power for the rockets. And what I'm thinking is I can dig up this abyssalite and pull temperature out diagonally. So let's think about this. I want it, I want that tile. So I can put a temp shift plate there to suck heat out of there. And how are these guys on fuel? Uh, 45. Oh, because they came from different directions. Right, makes sense. As for water on this planet, there is no source. Where am I? We're here. So yeah, infectious polluted oxygen, hydrogen. There's no nothing that actually gives you water. And then space scanning. Oh, yeah, I am done. I have no more question marks. So Harold's on his way back with the hydrogen rocket. I might get bored and head out to those, but probably not. So yeah, I want them to dig this. And some of that abyss light's gonna be hot, so let's not dump it in here. It can live right there just fine. Oh, I just realized I was talking to myself and I hadn't unpaused you. Yeah, a little bit of an adjustment to the ladder so they can get around. Pick up some abyss light. Okay, I apparently am hitting the pause button and not realizing it. So I apologize if the auto's all sorts of weird. I'm still getting back in the groove of Recording, I'll try and keep an eye on the record button. Like I was, again, talking to myself and realized that I was paused. What am I? I wonder if I just have my hand resting on a button that's pausing. Anyway, we got some backing going in. We got some steel gas pumps, obsidian temp shift plate. And now I need power. And this has got to be, yeah, way over. Oh, I've got hydrogen now. Yeah, let's just put in another hydrogen generator. I think that'll work. If I go and split my power grid a bit. Oh, what am I making out of steel? I don't know. But yeah, if I go and split my power grid a bit, and then that way this will have hydrogen back up. And I can take it off because I've got almost everything running off of my oxygen system, which is not the best way of doing it. All right, and gas is flowing. And so now if I do you onto you, take you off, you off, you onto you, 
and take out this battery. There, now this one runs the suit docks, the carbon skimmer, the exosuit, and the pump. This guy runs. That has solar backup and these pumps, which I need power for. That needs steel power. I'll oh, just do it like that. All right, dupes, come on and do it. Oh, plumbing. Yeah, so I want to do another liquid meter valve. power. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, this temp shift plate is already 1468 degrees. So hopefully this should just open immediately so I don't melt everything. Soon my dupes come back to uh, build it. Perfect, it opened. How are you getting heat? Oh, I wonder if it's pulling it from... Yep, it's pulling it from the Abyss Light. That's fine. I mean, it's not the greatest in the world, but should be okay. Really not have Ignis Rock close? I have one ever. And while I'm thinking about it, there was a comment saying I might have lost some backing plates, but it looks like they're all here. If you go over into the mineral section, or you know, just into the overlay, you can see the drywall. Yeah, they're all there. Where is my rocket? Uh, you've got another cycle to get there. So yes, we're all good on the drywall on the rocket tube. Okay, that abyss light is negative 60, and that's 1300. Oh no! I did not mean to send water through there. Luckily, the pipe is very long and I can just do that. Of course, my dupes got it done anyway, so yes, I totally meant to send the water through. That was not a mistake at all. If you are below 150, you're above 150. So now you're getting all nice and hot. Should help everything flash to steam. Yep, and that is some um, 200 degrees steam. That worked out better than I want, thought. All right. Oh, I had to put this on the reset side. Since the green signal, the limit has been reached. Yeah, I've got this on the wrong side. We need to go there. That's probably why it also turned on. Ah, and with... Oh, no, I got more pipe. Believe that is the pipe all finished. Let's get some nice hot steam in there. And I sent over another load of water just because... So I got plenty of extra steam. While they're doing that, I need to reset the food. I took all the food out of here because I wasn't sure where the dupes were. You have one suit. I need to get that up to three. You have reed fiber, which I want none of. I want steel. And 
So now we come back down here and we say you. 50, level 5. How come I'm not getting the rockets in orbit? Eh, whatever. Oh, I was going to put in a space scanner. Well, let's just try it. What if I put a space scanner in right now? Automation. Space scanner. Another question in the comments was, do space scanners still work? And I have no idea, so we're about to find out. Be more than enough steam. How's the temperature in here? Yeah, that's fine. It's holding pretty much steady. Like, this might exchange a bit, but it's not going to be enough to fry everything. Steam's pumping out. You. Inspiring knowledge. Okay. So you set a green signal. This is the rocket I'm looking for, right? Inspiring knowledge. Why do you. Do you only connect it? Detect it when it's inbound? Damn it, I don't have enough range. So what if I do that? Hey, it worked! It only detected it because it was actually attempting to land. Well, son of a, that worked. So anyway, thanks for the suggestion. That did exactly what it was supposed to do. Know how much use I'll have for it, but space scanner still effective at opening and closing the doors. All right, we've got rocket modules, we've got trailblazer modules, we have steel, we have food. We don't have suits. Do you want suits? And you need to switch to gold. You only have one suit. Get some more refined metal in here. Yeah, it's gotten a bit warm. That's gonna be tough. One of these plants will find some cold stuff to bring in there. How many suits do I have? You know, I don't have anything to make suits out of because you can't make them out of gold. Uh, son of, okay, what do you have? You have a lot of gold. Well, let's send over all the copper you have. And this didn't quite keep up, but it did a good enough job. Well, we're gonna have to call that good enough. We got oxygen, and let's go to the magma planet. One, two. One, two.
There we go. Like, yeah, they'll get there eventually. Yeah, so this space should just be able to sit here just fine. Once this becomes active, it's got the aqua tuner attached to it, and it should be able to keep going. It's all nice and sealed, and it's still got some water left over. Oh, that's going to take three cycles to get there, and there are all of my copper launches coming through. I don't have any automation set to pick them up and drop them anywhere, but if I need to come back and make some suits, my dupes will grab them just fine. Yeah, that was all of it. That was quick. The only downside to relying on steam rockets for pretty much all of my exploration is they're very slow. Three cycles takes a long time. Can I get to this one? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, but I'd have to make steam to come back. But I... Can I get to the temporal tear with steam? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I can launch from here. That might be an interesting goal to finish off this playthrough of see whether or not I can get a steam rocket through the temporal tear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, I can get there. Oh, you have steam, don't you? Yep, steam vent. So I could actually refuel there. The first rocket's in orbit, but I believe it's the wrong one. It's the rover one. And they can't do anything until I land the dupes. I'm on steam rockets, so that should be fine. So yeah, I'll wait for the other rocket. We'll land the dupes here because I need the building material. Here would be great, but they'd basically just be running through magma. That's not helpful. And my rocket has range Six left, which is perfect, because it was four to there, five, one, two, three, four, five, and I get to come back. All right, so first off, you. Nope, you with the rovers, now that my dupes are here. Land a rover. Land a rover. Ima. I can just do that. And then they can run over the top of it. Nice. Alright, and who has the one dupe? That would be you. Perfect, and I need to add Mima back to the crew. Oh, don't sleep on there. You slept on some hot rocks, you'll be fine. Give my rock, my robot something to do. A little bit of a uh, radiation shield. There's my niobium. All 
All right, so if I just come straight down by this, or is it better to come over here? Actually, my rovers can dig, my rovers can swim. How do I keep how do I keep my dupes out of here? Might just have to lock them in the rocket for a little bit. But to do that I need obsidian for the robots to build with. And while I'm thinking about it. Let's just do that part first. Oh, that's just my own dumb fault. I forgot to set these back to none. So they can get to the food in the bathroom. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's go. Crew. Crew. Let the robots do their thing for a bit. I do that, I can build some solid stuff, and my dupes can come straight down through it. Oh, I want to do this side first. Hopefully my rovers have enough obsidian to do this. They should. to dig up some more. No, there's 1,200 there. And each of these is two. Yeah, I've got 8,000. That was almost safe enough to get the dupes out of there. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging while Nails takes a break. Hi, right, Meemaw, it's your turn for a break. Now everybody can come out to play. And we can do a nice ladder across there. Get down. Uh, might as well put in a mini pod so I have enough of them.
Activate. Come on, Rovers, you can do this. And we are just about through to the Niobium. One more slightly better digging dupe over here. Who do we got? Auto. Yeah, let's get you up to a bit slight. Nails is already pretty high up there. And Hassan, you can dig everything. There it is. Once we got the magma down into here, it mostly cooled off to, you know, a thousand degrees. Oh, my dupe's taking a nap. Yep. Otto, what are you doing? Oops, there. Hmm. Pick up the niobium and then we can get out of here. I like the different noise they make for digging niobium. like playing a horribly out of tune xylophone. All right, everyone pick up your niobium. How much do we have? Wow, we got over a thousand. 1,400. So I wanna turn that into Cool it off. And then we'll get all the ni niobium into here. How's my plumbing? I still got plenty of water. Come on, why aren't you? I guess they're both taking a break. Fine, fine. Well, I think we're gonna call that good. As soon as I pick up the Niobium and get out of here, I can head back to this planet, refuel, and head back to the main base, and you're almost out of hydrogen. That's a bit of a problem. Hmm. Well, this one's got solar backup. This hydrogen runs directly off of the oxygen tank, so I should be fine. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all just have an absolutely wonderful day, and we will see you next time.